Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block is called Tilted Charms and it finishes 12 inches. And I call it charms because you can use your charm squares. These squares are cut 5 inches. It's a good time to use those up. Here is the diagram. I'm making two different units. This one is left rotating and then I just made two of those. This one is right rotating and I made two of those. Each one of these finishes at six inches. So you put four together and you have a 12 by 12 inch finished block. Here is what they look like with four blocks put together. Now this one we don't really have patches. I guess you can call these patches. I've got two separate diagrams here and this one is marked AL which means it's the A patch left rotating which is right here because this one is left rotating counterclockwise and this one is right rotating which is clockwise and here are the cutting patches for this and I will demonstrate these and then the B patch is the four and a half inch finished square or it's your charm square cut five inches you can use charm squares or you can cut five inch squares this one I'm going to show you how to rotary cut these pieces and stitch them together. I'm also including the paper piecing foundations and there are two of them. This one is right rotating and this one is left rotating. And you may say, oh Carol, you're wrong. This one is looks like it's rotating to the left. But remember, this is the back side when you're paper piecing. And I will add down here the size of the fabric to cut and then cut it in half on the diagonal. And if you cut a four inch by seven inch piece of fabric and cut it on the diagonal like this, you'll have enough to do two of these uh, AR units or the AL units are the same thing. But anyway, you can try that if you like it, however you do your paper piecing. I like to pre-cut my pieces. I don't like to cut them as I go, especially like this since it's all the same size pieces. So anyway, these will be here if you want them. If you want to download them, they'll be here. So let's look at our fabrics. Here's my test block, one of 10. This is the 10th try I, I did with the test block. And here's one that I just did it for extra just to make sure. We're going to piece this unit slightly larger and then trim it down to get our six and a half inch unfinished unit. Let's look for our cutting instructions for the AL and AR patches. And we'll start with this one, the right rotating patch first. But they're both the same, they're just the direction that you cut is different. This is a five and a half inches by three inch cut rectangle. And if you look here, this says three eighths of an inch. So three eighths of an inch down from the top is where we start the cut and three-eighths of an inch up from the bottom is where we end the cut and it's cut this way. So this is for the right rotating one, AR. We do the same thing for the left only the direction of the cut is different. So here is the other one unit because remember I'm going to make two units like this so here's one. I've got two pieces of fabric stacked with the right sides up. have to always refer back to the direction of the angle. And if I just eyeball it, it doesn't have to be precise, but just close. So about three-eighths of an inch, a little less than half an inch. We put our ruler there and then come three-eighths of an inch down. And that's about right. And then we're going to cut in this direction. So now we have four pieces of our frame and they're identical. We'll take two pieces, take our square, we're going to piece opposite sides and remember that this diagonal line, diagonal cut line is what you piece on the edge of the square. So we'll turn this over and again this is not precise. I'm sort of centering it across here. If we turn this over, we see how much is coming, is overlapping from underneath. And that's about right. 
what you can do is just try for yourself and see how they come out before you, you actually press or, or go any further. And I'll show you what I mean. So once you lay these down, then you're just going to stitch a scant quarter inch across, straight across. Do the same thing on this side. So here's our diagonal line and it goes on this side of the square. And I'm just centering that on there and I'll stitch a scant quarter of an inch. And here's what it looks like stitched. Same thing down here. Now let's flip it over. And you see how there's extra on both sides and it's about centered. Remember, we're going to trim this down after we piece it. Now we'll press the seams open. Our seams are pressed open. Let's flip this over. Now we're going to trim these edges here, even with the edge of the square. Now we'll take our third piece and we're going to sew it this way. When you flip this over, you want to be really close on this side. Just so you have this little V here and you're going to stitch into the V. It's really not that important, but it's, it's only like your quarter inch seam allowance as you come off. Because you want to have more in this narrow piece over here because of your seam allowance. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Here is that the right side and you can see the stitching comes out right in the middle of that V and you have a scant quarter of an inch and that's then you check it like this so from here to from the point out here you have at least a quarter of an inch and that's what you want and if you look at this side we had this fabric overlapping a little bit more over here and so if we open this up then we see we barely have, it's a quarter of an inch, so it's not bad at all. And when it's trimmed, it'll, it'll work out just perfectly. And now just piece on the other side and press your seams open. Here is the untrimmed unit. And when I get to this point, I put a lot of starch on here because I just think it makes it easier to trim it up accurately. So I have a six and a half inch ruler. What I'm looking at is are the quarter inch markings and I start by putting them right on the points here. So that one's on the point. This one needs to be moved up a little bit. This one is pretty close and this one's pretty close. So then I'm just going to trim it. And if I had used my rotating cutting mat, which I have, I wouldn't have to be rotating this. So let me just trim this other end. And here are your two right rotating units. And we'll put those to the side. And for the left rotating units, you'll do the same exact process. Here I have four pieces of fabric stacked right sides up. And we look at our diagram. See, we come up 3 eighths of an inch and down 3 eighths of an inch here and we're cutting from the upper right to the lower left. So I'm just estimating 3 eighths of an inch on either side and cut. Now you have enough pieces to do these two units. And I'm going to go ahead and piece these two units then we'll come back and put the block together. Now all four units are finished and we'll just put them together and I alternate the left and right rotating like this. So these two together, then these two, press the seams open, then sew the two rows together. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.